Hello everyone and I have a very nice and a very interactive chess game to show you and in this chess game with the white pieces we have Max Vermerdam from Netherlands, a Dutch chess grandmaster and his opponent is Justin Sarkar from the United States, a chess international master from the United States and this chess game is from the Reykjavik Open chess tournament from 2022. Uh, this happened just a year ago, so this is almost an up-to-date chess game. It is not that old. Uh, actually, the Reykjavik Open Chess Tournament in 2023 just started. It has just started, so if you are interested, you can also follow that chess tournament. So, okay, uh, let's see what happened in this chess game. This is a highly instructive chess game. So, the Dutchman starts the game with c4, the English opening, f5, the Dutch defense. Playing the Dutch defense against the Dutchman. Is this a good idea? <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. So d4, knight to f6, and g3. e6, knight to f3, bishop to e7, and bishop to g2, and black castled. Also white castled. d6, knight to c3, queen to e8, and then b4. Developing the knight and attacking the b-pawn. Defending. Knighting, attacking the knight, defending, exchanging, and developing the bishop and targeting the d-pawn, rook over, both players are fighting for the better position, kicking the knight back, and black is also kicking the knight back, gaining the space advantage, h5, but immediately charging at the center, and... White, white wants to open the f-file, e takes on f3, queen takes on f3, and then h4. Attacking from the king side, but in this position, white played a very important move. Rook over, rook from c to e1, and lining the rook with the queen. An important move, so knight to e6, and white played a very important move, well, he pushed the pawn and he wants to open the file. So he wants to quickly develop, he wants to open the file. And he is, because of this cause, he is sacrificing a pawn. So Justin immediately captured the pawn. And then queen to d3. And where is the knight queen? We have queen to e5 defending like this. But in this position, I think if going back with the knight, then capturing the f-pawn, e takes on f5, and the knight is pinned. So queen to e5. But this time, attacking the knight again, knight to b3, and attacking the knight twice. And black doesn't have this option, queen to c5 is out of options, because of capturing the queen, of course, holding on c5. And what now? In this position, black extricates himself. He is extricating himself with knight to e2. Check. Capturing the knight and then capturing the bishop. And now what? Attacking the knight. So it feels like defending the knight comes to mind. Maybe something like rook to f3. Defending. And if going back with the knight, maybe capturing the a-pawn with the queen is also on the cards. What would you do in this position? Actually, this is the key moment of this chess game. Can you see the best move for white? Let me give you a small tip. White didn't move the knight. He played a better move. Did you see that move? What would you do? The move is e takes on f5. This is the move, sacrificing the knight. What a move. A beautiful move, but we have bishop to d7. So, if capturing the knight, then did you see the idea of white? Why sacrificing the knight? Because of this idea, bishop to d5, checking the king. And if moving the king, basically black is getting checkmated and there is no defense. So, if blocking with the rook, did you see the move? Then capturing the rook, and if capturing the bishop, then getting checkmated. And if not capturing the bishop, still getting checkmated, of course. 
And if capturing, uh, not capturing, uh, you already know that. If moving the king, then getting checkmated once again. So this was the threat by Max. So this is why defending with the bishop, it feels like black has lots of weaknesses at the light squares. So after bishop to d7, we still check the king, bishop to d5 by Max Vermerdem. Blocking with the rook, so the idea of black is that he is not allowing after capturing the rook, there is no queen to e8, at least defending that. But this is falling apart because of rook to f3, attacking the queen, queen goes back, exchanging. And also with this move, it was defending the knight, exchanging, and then this is also one of the interesting positions of this chess game, and one of the most interesting uh, instructive positions. What would you do if you had the white pieces? Would you capture the rook? Actually, capturing the rook is a fine move, but there is a better move in this position. So just like Emmanuel Lesker, the great Emmanuel Lesker said, when you see a good move, look for a better one. And this is a perfect example of that quote. Uh, did you see a better move than capturing the rook? And that move is bishop takes on b7, attacking the rook and grabbing a pawn. So capturing the rook is the threat, defending the rook and bishop goes back, bishop to d5 and still pinning the rook. h takes on g3, h takes on g3, unpinning the rook but simply capturing the rook and supporting the f pawn. So this is resignable of course, king goes down, rook up and also defending the g-pawn against king to g5 and knight to c5 and this is also a very strong move attacking the bishop defending and what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces actually this is a very strong move knight to e6 that's check and where is the king going bishop takes on e6 and isn't this just simply blundering the rook f takes on e6 and would you capture the rook? Well, black didn't touch the rook. On f3, he is defending his own rook. So in this position, uh, if uh, capturing the rook, actually how to stop the e-pawn? E-pawn is going to be a queen. How to stop the promotion? There is no defense. So this is why in this position, not capturing the rook and defending. And this is also interesting because if moving the king up, then pushing the pawn, and if something like king to e7, then which move is the best move for white? Can you see a very strong move in this position? That is knight takes on g7, this is a very strong move because the bishop is pinned, rook is not pinned, but if capturing, then pushing the pawn, forking the king and the rook, that's all over. Okay, so as you can see, there are so many interesting tactics in this chess game. After capturing the bishop, attacking the rook, defending, and then rook in, rook takes on e6, white play the move, and black resigned. The move is king to g2. This is a nice and calm prophylactic move, not allowing some tactics like bishop to h2 check, and then capturing the rook, maybe. But in this position, actually, in my opinion, maybe... A rook takes on g7 is possible because if bishop takes on g7 capturing the rook and how to stop rook takes on c7 so in this position after king to g2 black resigned because how to stop rook takes on g7 bishop takes on g7 rook takes rook or how to stop rook takes on c7 and also the a pawn is going to follow so this was a pretty instructive chess game by a Max Vermerdam against Justin Sarker. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this chess game. The Reykjavik Open chess tournament has just started. So if you are interested, you can also follow that chess tournament. I showed one of the games from this tournament. It happened last year. It is, as you can see, it is a pretty instructive game. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that you have seen some of the key moves in this chess game. So. Thanks again and I hope to see you next time. Take care, stay safe and bye bye.